A Limited entered into a contract with a customer to sell a machine for 100,000. The total contract price, that 100,000, includes installation of machine and two years extended guarantee, or rather warranty. So, machine cost, installation cost, and the warranty cost. Total package is 100,000. Assume that A Limited determine there were three distinct performance obligations. Like the number one is machine deliver karna. Number two is ki uski installation karna. And number three is ki installation ke baad do saal tak uski warranty deni. So there are three distinct performance obligations, and standalone selling price of those performance obligations were as follows. If you buy a machine, then you will get 75,000. Installation भी कराते हैं तो 14,000 उसके अलग से देना पड़ेंगे और अगर extended warranty की लेनी है तो उसके लिए भी सर अब देखिए total जो है 109 बनता है determine the amount of revenue to be recognized by A Limited on satisfaction of each performance obligation now to aggregate the standalone selling price this comes to 109 exceeds the total transaction price of 100,000. It means that you are giving a discount if somebody is taking the package of 9,000. And that discount inherent must be allocated to each individual performance obligation based on the relative stand alone selling price of each uh, obligation. Therefore, the amount of 100,000 transaction price is allocated to each performance obligation as follows. 100,000 total and 109 and multiplied by the machine cost. So 68,807 for the machine delivered, so that revenue you can recognize. Installation again, 14,000, so it is 12,844. Once the machine is installed, you can record this amount as revenue. Warranty, since it goes on two years, so you can't record it there and then. You have to wait for each year. You may take 50% first year and 50% next year. Or maybe at the expiry of two years. The entity would recognize as revenue the amount allocated for each performance obligation when and as performance is satisfied. Thank you very much.